Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Dear Chair, distinguished guests, dear participants from home and abroad, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum and a very good morning to you all. I thank the Environmental and Water Resources Institute of American Society of Civil Engineers, ASCE, and the Institute of Water and Flood Management of Bangladesh University of Engineering and Technology, BUET, for inviting me at the 11th International Perspective on Water and Environment Conference, IPWE, 2023. Dear participants, Bangladesh is a land of rivers. The lives and livelihoods of millions of people of this country spin around the rivers for ages as more than 400 rivers have been flowing through the country. But due to the impacts of climate change and human activities, the rivers have been losing their status with many getting vanished or dried up. Pollution caused by disposal of waste, saline water intrusion and arsenic contamination are also making it difficult in getting fresh water for agriculture and other purposes. On the other hand, the demand for water is growing fast for supplying additional irrigation water for production, increased demand of food, rapid urbanization, and industrialization. Although Bangladesh has a long history of water resource management, we need to update the system for prudent use of our limited water resources. Ladies and gentlemen, Bangladesh is a Delta country and vulnerable to climate change. To face the challenges of sustainable management of water, ecology, environment, and land resources in the context of their interaction with natural disasters and climate change, we have adopted a long-term integrated techno-economic plan, Bangladesh Delta Plan 2100. In 2019, we have also approved the Dhaka River Master Plan to free the, all the major rivers in the around Dhaka and Chattogram cities from encroachment and pollution by 2030. And we have taken similar projects to dress rivers and build river banks in different parts of the country. I am happy to know that the conference will discuss the Bangladesh Delta Plan 2100, the challenges and solutions of Padma Breeze construction and Bangladesh is in the front line of climate change. I heard that the ASCE delegates visited the Padma Breeze yesterday. I think you could have imagined how challenging was the task of constructing the breeze on the turbulent river. The Padma Multipurpose Breeze was a self-funded project in our road communication system to facilitate Bangladesh's local and international trade and enhance regional connectivity. Distinguished participants, the theme of this conference is risk and resiliency in the time of climate change. We are living in a world where the impact of climate change is felt in our everyday life with ever increasing extreme weather. Bangladesh ranks as the seventh most vulnerable country to climate change. Although Bangladesh's contribution to global carbon emission is very negligible, yet the proportion of damage inflicted upon our nation from climate change is overwhelming. Rising sea level, river erosion, drought, heat, 
and flooding will continue to take a serious toll on our economy. Bangladesh is facing major challenges in water sector which includes increasing vulnerability to extreme events, depletion of groundwater, growing urban demands, climate change, land use changes and environmental requirements. Sustainable water resource management will help decrease the vulnerability by furthering development and increase adaptive capacity. Ladies and gentlemen, Bangladesh is the pioneer in climate change adaptation and mitigation efforts. We are the first among developing countries to have taken a comprehensive climate change strategy and action plan back in 2009. We have so far allocated 480 million US dollar for implementing various adaptation and mitigation programs. My party, Awami League workers, every year plant millions of saplings to increase tree coverage since 1985. We have shifted our focus from mere climate vulnerability to sustainability and adapted the flagship Mujib Climate Prosperity Plan, a journey from climate vulnerability to resilience to climate prosperity. Father of the nation, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, started building shelters for people of coastal areas to protect them from natural calamities and disasters soon after independence. These were locally called Mujib Killas. Following his footsteps, we have so far built about 7,000 multipurpose cyclone shelters in the coastal districts to accommodate people and their livestock during natural calamities. Most of these cyclone shelters are used as school at normal time. Besides cyclone resistant houses are being built for the homeless and landless people in the coastal district under a flagship project named Ashtan Project. Dear participants, I hope that the IPWE 2023 conference will create a platform for both local and international participants to share their knowledge and expertise on issues related to climate change, water resources, management, and build a strong network among them. I thank the participants, especially the ASCE delegates, foreign participants, and the NRBs who have traveled all the way to Bangladesh to attend this conference. I hope your stay here will be enjoyable and memorable one. I wish the 11th IPWE 2023 conference a grand success. Thank you all again.